here to talk to you again today about getting your perfect fit. Today we're going to talk about kids. So um, since most of the BSD patterns right now concentrate on children, um, you may have a child that does not fit the standard measurement. If you do, don't worry, most children do not fit the standard measurement, so you're in here with the rest of us. Um, I have a daughter that is teeny tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny. She was born at like six pounds, was 14 pounds at a year old, now at almost three is 24 pounds. She's like a shrimp. She's gonna be the shortest in her class for sure. So um, anyway, I showed you on Friday how to take her measurements um, parallel to the floor, took her chest measurement, recorded everything. She is 19 inches, which is right in between sizes on my chart. Um, you can look at your measurement chart and decide where you wanna go. If you want a tighter fit, you can size down. If you want a looser fit, you can size up. Also, if you have a pattern that offers finished measurements, that's a perfect time to look and see where exactly what kind of fit you want, how much ease you want. Ease is gonna be your extra allowance that's in the pattern um, that determines whether it's tighter or looser. In this case, I'm gonna show you how to alter our new release, the Sweet Lily Pin Tuck Dress. If you haven't picked it up, it is so adorable. Not a quick sew, it takes a while, it's a labor of love, but oh so cute, totally worth it. Um, and it is, you know, a lot of people have asked me if it's good for beginners. To be honest with you, I think it's really easy as long as you take your time. Don't expect to speed through this one really quickly because um, it's just not gonna happen. There's a lot of work there, but oh, it's so pretty. Um, definitely one that I'm gonna save like for forever. So anyway, my daughter is right there in the middle on the chest measurement, which is how this pattern is determined on the size. She is a six month. However, if I sewed a six month on her, her mama would not let her leave the house. It would be so short. So definitely we want to blend the sizes and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Right here I have my pattern. As you can see, I just um, taped together the few pages that we're gonna concentrate on. So I'm going to actually show you how to blend the lining, but it would be the same for the other pieces as well. So this is, um, if you can see here, I know it's hard to read the writing, but this inner one is gonna be the six month this here and then the outer is going to be the 18 month so basically what we want is we want the six month width and the 18 month length so what we're going to do is basically anywhere where there is a width marking we're going to mark that for the six month since that's the width that we want since she's a skinny mini. However, for the length, any place that is a length marking, we're gonna mark the 18 month. Now, that also is going to include the neckline here. A lot of times you would think that you would go on the six month for the neckline, but if you do that, you see how this changes right here in the width. That neckline is gonna be a lot lower than what you're going to intend, which on this pattern, the neckline's really high, so you may prefer a longer neckline, but on a pattern where the neckline is lower, you're gonna be showing all the goods that you don't wanna show, especially on your daughter. So we're gonna do, let's do the width portion first. So we're gonna do the six month, and then also we're gonna continue this on to the arm, arm here. We're gonna do six month here on the arm, now, we're getting to a length portion here, which we wanna do the 18 months. So we're gonna just continue this line on up to the 18 months. And then, like I said, we want to do this neckline. So we're gonna continue this neckline up here, down, and there we go. These two lines on this particular pattern are the same. Sometimes patterns are nested different just really depends on how they're nested. This particular pattern has the same um, length on the bodice for every single size, um, all the way up through um, the top size. So um, the, bo the bottom of the bodice isn't actually graded. However, if you had another one that say the 18 month came on past this, 
you would just want to continue that down and meet the 18 month. Now you're going to do that um, same thing for the skirt, um, which I don't actually have the skirt printed, but you're going to want to take the width of the skirt um, for the six month and then combine it with the length of the skirt for the 18 month. So basically you just want to draw this new pattern and then instead of cutting out on where the actual pattern markings are, you just cut out on where your new markings are. Now let's take another piece like this back bodice here. Um, now this has pattern markings. Now if I had a color printer, that would be great, but I don't. I have a black and white printer. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your button markings um, for your length here. So if we were going to go ahead and blend this really quickly, oops, my lines are super crooked, but that's okay because this is just for a demonstration. And then we're going to do our width. Now, if you just think about this logically, it makes a lot of sense. These um, smaller ones go for this six month. If I had it printed in color, you would be able to tell. These are six month, six month, six month. Now the other ones are 18 months because they're more spread apart. And if you have a black and white printer like me, you can always go back and just um, select this layer just for the 18 months so it makes these pattern markings a little bit easier. Uh, but we're not gonna do that for this demonstration. But so see, you can see how this is a longer length. So you're gonna wanna take, for pattern mark markings that are determined on the length, you're gonna wanna take these longer, whatever one you're is for the length. It may not necessarily be longer because maybe you have a little one that is short and that's why you need to adjust the pattern. So you wanna take these markings and mark those on your pattern. Now, if you look, which I don't have it printed, but if you look at the pin tucks, for example, on this one, those are determined by width. So you would choose the width measurement for those pin tucks. Anyway, so um, let's go back and look at this main piece again. Now you can see we have adjusted this arm. So because we've adjusted the arm, the sleeve also has to be adjusted. Now, because this is um, a fairly simple sleeve, um, this, you see how a lot of times people would say, oh, well, you're, you're following this six month line. So you wanna use the six month sleeve. Not true, because you're forgetting that you're adding this little extra piece right here in the thing, which is gonna adjust your sleeve. So whatever your length is, generally, you're gonna to wanna to select, which you wouldn't even have to trace this, but you're gonna to wanna to select the sleeve, the entire sleeve for that length. So you would be using the 18 month sleeve for a six month bodice, 18 month length. And I'm using eight, six month and 18 months because that's what my daughter is. It would be the same if you were doing a 18 month width and a six, a six year length or a six year length and an 18 month, uh, or six, excuse me, a six year width and an 18 month length because um, kids come in all different shapes and sizes and don't feel bad if your kid isn't exactly on the measurement chart because very few people are lucky enough that their kid is on the measurement chart. So that's basically it. You got to see my pretty face today in my super awesome Target sewing PJs with my children's um, toys all over the room, but they're asleep. Hopefully, I'm hoping they're asleep. They're awfully quiet. If they're not asleep, I'm in trouble. So anyway, um, if you'd like to hear more about my crazy antics, more tutorials, lots of sewing goodies, I plan on doing a lot of, um, if I plan on doing a lot of sewing tools because I, let's face it, sewing tools are a lot of fun. Um, and there's all kinds of little things like, for example, look at these cool buttons. I just got these in the mail this, this week. How awesome are those? I don't know if you can see them with the glare, but they've, they've got my business name on them. Super awesome. Super excited. Anyway, lots of sewing reviews, different things. Subscribe to our channel, YouTube. Uh, I don't know the address, um, but I'll link it on the blog so you can find it. I would love to see you right here next time we have a great tutorial. Join us again. Thanks. Bye.